happy Tuesday. I don't even know what day that is. Happy Tuesday. <laughs> we just got home. Well, I got home. Mr. Jerry left, brought me home, and then he's gone in to get a haircut. So this morning we went up and saw his mom, and um, she is better, um, medically better than she was yesterday. They um, are still doing a couple more tests um, today. Nothing evasive because that's what the kids have chose. Um, and um, they'll go from there, but if everything comes back okay, we hope within the next day or two she'll be able to go back to her assisted living. Um, she has um, dementia and um, it's been progressively getting worse and with what happened yesterday she doesn't remember it does not remember it she had basically an ambulance ride to our hospital and an ambulance ride up to the bigger hospital she doesn't remember any of it she doesn't even know what she was in there today for um and we kept you know telling her um she would ask and we would tell her so um but she she knew mr jerry i wasn't for sure she knew me at first um we walked into the room and she saw him and she started tearing right up and he walked over and she squeezed his hand and everything and it was the that look of i know somebody that's what the look was and she kept looking at me a little bit and, you know, and was polite and everything. And I thought, for, you know, well, she just doesn't know me anymore. And, you know, he was over there holding her hand, talking to her for the first half hour or so. And um, the nurses, the nurse would come in and, you know, check vitals. They were really good and... um setting her up for the test that was going to be this afternoon at 4 30 and stuff and so finally i did what miss terry always do does and i've always done this when his dad was alive and all the kids were working and i wasn't and i was the one who would you know take care of his folks and take them to their appointments and stuff like that i just grab a chair and pull it right up beside beside their bed and I would just sit right there and lean right in a little bit so that they could talk to me without anybody hearing it and um, grab a hold of their hand and they would just hold my hand. Well, I did that after Mr. Jerry um, went over to sit down. I picked up my chair and I, wa and I walked it right next to her bed and I set it right down and I looked right at her and I said, how are you doing, Mom? And all of a sudden, she knew me she there was no doubt jerry even said the same thing he said well she she definitely knew you and she she just talked to me with tears in her eyes and then i had to retell her what had happened and everything and she held my hand almost the entire time we were up there a good two and a half hours and she was awake the whole time with us and she just kept holding my hand and squeezing it. They had to come in and try to start another IV port for a test she has to have. And um, she held my hand the whole time. She kind of dozed off and she held my hand. <laughs> she didn't let go. It was a death grip. So, um, but we um, ordered her lunch and um, we're going to order her supper um, when he gets back he's going to try calling up and ordering her supper because she just she's not capable of doing that the nurses ordered her breakfast this morning so she at least was able to eat which made us feel better knowing that somebody ordered her some food but um the other thing was is as we left um she has always um, hugged and kissed her kids on the lips you know to tell them goodbye and everybody else like with me she's always hugged me and I've always given her you know a little kiss on the cheek and um, so today I um, when I said we're, we're going to leave 
and of course she always tears up and um, I leaned in I squeezed her hand I leaned, leaned in and told her that I loved her and that she's she's going to be okay and I went to turn my face to give her a kiss and her hand came up and just like this and she kissed me on the lips now I've been married to Mr. Jerry 44 years and I lived with his folks and him for six months because things were not good in my household at that time and so she has definitely been my mom away from home mom and um, a little bit closer to me than my own mom and so she kissed me and then she looked me in the eyes and she just said thank you thank you thank you thank you and she always does that and I I don't understand the thank you part because I'm just doing what I'm supposed to be doing you know and squeezed her hand of course Jerry went over there and you know he bent down and she put her arm right around his neck and you know hugged him so tight and gave him a couple kisses and then when he stood up and he started to walk away and she started to cry and I says, I think you need to give her one more hug because he always does that. He turned right back around and gave her another hug and she just hugged him right back. So, um, so my lunch today right now is <laughs> yogurt and pretzels because I don't feel like eating too much right now. And um, as we were coming back, Mr. Jerry says, do you want to stop? What do you want to do for lunch? you want to stop to Culver's? you want to get a salad? And I said, um, are you hungry? Do you want to eat someplace? He goes, no, I just wanted to make sure you had something. I said, I don't want anything. I don't know who I am, but that's all right. I think it's because last night when we were at Wendy's, I got their single and their fries, and I only ate half of it, of everything. And it, it just didn't agree with me. And I don't want that feeling again. He even said what he had did not agree with him. So I only ate half my my um, a burger and fries and threw them, threw them away. And I thought, God, I've come a long ways on this. So, but anyways, this is probably all you're going to see on this. But I just wanted to let you know. Um, today was, was a good day and, um, she looked really good. Her vitals were really good and, um, except for that memory thing and that's never going to get better. So, and, um, he appreciates all the prayers. I appreciate all the prayers. Um, I'm glad that we can still have where we can ask for prayers. I, I just think it'll be a sad day. And we can't ask for that anymore. So, but anyways, thank you again, my friends. And I'm going to let you go. I'm going to get back to eating my yogurt. And I think I'm going to do a little knitting. And um, I'll take pictures of my knitting and stuff. Because I did start that sock um, last night. So I had something to knit on the way up and back. Because it's an hour one way to this hospital for us. And it's downtown and traffic and we have to park in a parking ramp and oh we are old we were on the fourth I gotta tell you this we were on the fourth level of the parking ramp and then you can walk up um, one level to get to the covered bridge that connects to the hospital and um, but when you get before you get to that bridge you got to take an elevator down one because we were on the fourth level down one so we took the elevator down there are stairs if you want to we took the elevator down one floor and then we crossed the bridge and then came into the hospital and we're looking around like where were, where are we supposed to go you know because this hospital is huge just huge just a second sorry about that it was Mr. Jerry. He got his dates mixed up. It's supposed to be next Tuesday, not this Tuesday. So, um, but anyways, we got into that ramp, and you get into the hospital, 
and we're trying to look around to know what way to go because this place is, is big. And someone looked at us and said, you look lost. <laughs> Jerry said, yeah. And so she, she says, well, I'm going down to the main floor. She goes, and that's where you need to go in the elevator and then just go to information desk. So that's what we did. And then, of course, we have a ticket that you can get validated so you have free parking. And, um, and then that gal told us how to get up to where his mom's room was. And it's never easy. You know, she goes, you go all the way down this hall here to the main lobby. And then you're going to make a left. And you're going to go all the way down as far as you can go and make another left. And you're going to go to the north elevators. And so we get all the way down there. And I'm telling you, this is a quite, quite a jaunt to get to that. And... We get to the north elevator and then you push up to the sixth floor where she was at and then you know you're trying to find signs to see which way are the rooms and so you're going this way all the way around <clears throat> so but we found it and then trying to remember how to leave which we we got it but when we got into the parking ramp we we're trying to find our way out of the parking ramp we went around the ramp a couple times let's just say that but so we're both home now but anyways i will let you go now and i will um talk to you later my friends thanks again